Axios. Axios. Filming for the second season of the series Harga started long before the start of Ramadan so that it would be ready to broadcast when the holy month began. Unlike the usual soap operas, Harga sheds light on the problem of irregular migration, or Harga in local dialect, a topic which resonates with many young Tunisians. The month of Ramadan is an opportunity to talk about such subjects, an opportunity to create debate in society, because Harga is a phenomenon we live through, but many people just think about it as a group of youngsters who leave on makeshift boats by sea and who may or may not make it to the other sides. We've decided to explore why they make this choice. Cultural expression has been flourishing since the revolution. Director Abdul Hamid Bushnek uses satire. With Kenya Mekanish, a play on the phrase once upon a time, he uses a fairy tale setting to recount the political and social misadventures of an imaginary country in the past. We wanted an original, quirky take on Tunisian history, a look at how Tunisians might have lived, but also as a way to criticize contemporary society. This year, in the first episodes, the series looks at the political elites who have sparked frustration amongst many Tunisians. It's about a deposed king who's trying to take back his throne, but it's going to be complicated after all he's done. I wanted to talk about all that's happened in Tunisia without taking sides with anyone. Many families break their daily fasts while watching TV series together. Sara and her sister Hele watch, comment and critique side by side. Sometimes the on-screen offerings don't hit the spot. The problem is that some aren't made for families. They should warn us, not for under 12. I feel that with the economic and political situation and all the stress, we need lighter topics. There aren't any sitcoms this year. We need sitcoms, things that make us laugh. The series Sarah and her sister are currently watching addresses polygamy, which is legal in Tunisia. But such taboo topics are why Ramadan series continue to provoke controversy, debate and entertainment.